I don't want to put it off. All right. Let's start with the... Let's start with the... Is it frozen? Is my tablet not working now? Is is everything going to right today? Is that it? Does nothing want to do is what it's supposed to do today? Okay, there we go. <laughs> nothing wants to work. Okay, there we go. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the process for the um, for the animate for animating this uh, version of uh, Osiris as a warlock. So first things first, I'm going to simplify it as much as I can, and I'm going to flatten the entire image, and I'm going to take it apart, and then paint in the parts that are missing. So first off, let's take off all these extra effects. So we don't need that. We don't need that. We do need that. Let's bring that down. And if you're on Patreon, you'll have this entire file to play with. So right now I'm just taking and prioritizing what files, what, what layers I need and what layers I don't need. I'm going to go ahead and save this file as a... Uh... Animation. If I can type. Animation. Okay. I'm going to save. All right, let's make sure I got all these levels right. Just thinking about something. Oh, it's still saving, that's why. What's happening, Blink? Okay, so now it's saved. Let's take out the layers we don't need. We don't need that highlight. Um, we'll keep all the other highlights just to make it um, you know, easy to animate. All right, I think everything else is, should be okay. Let's take off that. And we'll leave that in. All right, now let's take all those top layers and we're going to make them one piece. So let's flatten, let's uh, merge selected layers. So now that's just one piece now. All right, and we'll take the under layers we don't need. We'll throw those in the trash, throw the sketch away. We'll keep the background for now, just so we can we can have a something solid to look at. Let's erase that. So now we got three layers. We got the warlock is one piece, the shadow layer, and the background. So first things first, you got to figure out what parts and pieces you're actually going to have animated in this in the entire structure of this thing. So most importantly, you want to take out the head. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my lasso tool and I'm going to carve out just the shoulder and the head. All right, I'm gonna copy, paste. Oops. I'm gonna copy, paste. And now I just got the head by itself, right? Well, I, I took off some feathers too, so let me separate the feathers off. So those can be their own pieces. Let's copy those, paste. 
All right, now those separated. Now let's go to just the head layer by itself. Let's do some minor cleanup. So we got some, some straight like lines here. I'm gonna grab the eraser. Just going to, oops. Let's grab a soft eraser, that's a vector eraser. Some a little bit more pressure sensitive. Okay, here we go. Just clean up the edges of whatever you're animating before we move to After Effects. Like everything else should be pretty okay. So I took my time with it. And then we'll do some separate stuff for the head. But right now I'm just focusing on getting this into one, you know, solid piece. All right. Let's just ignore that for now. I forgot to erase it from the actual body. Oops. Okay, there we go. Head is gone. And I already got this layer uh, sorted out, so I got the, I got that by itself already. So let's go ahead and erase, you know, all the little lines there. And I already got that side of the head. So let's grab this pauldron, the pauldron feathers on this side. Let's copy and paste, and let's erase the original copy at the bottom. Now we got these feathers here and they got like a little bit of cut into them. All we're gonna do is take the colors that are already associated with it, like I'm gonna grab the black, and I'm gonna grab a the G pen and just kind of brush in the, uh, the parts that are missing. I'm gonna grab that uh, same blue. All I'm doing is just kind of filling the, the slots that are missing. That's all. Whenever you're doing just spot ch checking, when you're going to like split up an animation or split up a piece for animation, it's going to be a fairly like tedious process. But if you take your time, you'll get a much better result. Just eyedropper tool to get the colors right and you know just fill in those spots that are missing. The more deliberate you are and the more time you take, the better and the easier it'll be in the long run. The easier it will be in the long run. Let's just grab those like stray marks there and kind of erase those. Let's clean up the other side. Let's see how messy that side is. And it's actually not bad at all. But since we were gonna see a lot more of this than we were before, what we have to do is kind of take our pieces and move them out a little bit more just to make them a little, give them a little bit more fuller body. And if you want to like skip the line work part and go underneath, you can grab the colors, make a new layer underneath. It's going to fill in. So I'm making a layer under, underneath that and it's kind of just filling in those tiny details. Except for the line work right on top of this one. kind of adding in those little effects step by step and then once you've got it all where you want to have that just merge those layers down to make it one layer again all 
Let's clean up that rice a little bit more too. Let's add a little bit more weight to those those lines. Just kind of you no, know, just kind of finish them up, make them look a little bit more full. Uh, what's the G pen do compared to the others? G pen's like more of a smooth. It gives you like all these options for like width and uh, from pressure. So it's more of like just a kind of a smooth pen to work with. It's my favorite one to work with anyway. Hmm. All right, now we got a uh, left. A right we got our head right there and let's go ahead and fool with the body now now this is going to be it won't be too difficult but let's cut the arm off at the at the bond so we can just articulate it from the bond down so let's go ahead and copy delete Paste. Maybe we can go in and clean up this side now. Don't have to do much of that actually. If you want to add more and more motion into it, you can start separating the hands from the arms, which I think for this we yeah, let's do that. Let's separate the hands from the arms. Let's add a, let's add as much motion as we can for this. You guys helped me break 300 subs yesterday. Let's go ahead and uh, let's pimp this bad boy out. And this whole file, including the animation, will be up for download on Patreon, but the tutorial will be up for everybody. The tutorial will be up for everybody. Let's clean that up. Now we have to imagine what this will look like without any like hand behind it now. So let's go back to our arm layer yeah and let's grab our colors here and let's finish out the design remember it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because a lot of this is going to be moving and the viewer's eye is going to catch everything you're doing with this so you can be a you can be a little bit messy, but try not to be too messy. Right, the 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 yeah, you know, like I said before, the more deliberate you are, the less you know, the more stunning the animation will be. Let's make a new layer underneath this. We can just kind of fill our colors in. Does he know he's live this time? Oh, this is a live one, yeah. No, I was going to record this one live. Remember, because we broke 300 subs yesterday? This was the deal for hitting 300, 300 subs yesterday. I would do a live tutorial and then put it up on YouTube. But yeah, I know I'm live this time. One time I, re I recorded a whole, like, uh... 
a whole Patreon section of the course and I was live and I thought I hit like start record and not the live button. And the mods were just here just like just going ham without when I was like, uh I'm a moron apparently. I don't know how the buttons work. Yeah. We had to go back and delete the VOD. It was just silly. I mean, I I don't really do edits to the videos I make, so it was pretty it was pretty smooth. To be honest, it was pretty smooth. One take con, is what they call me. They don't, they don't call me that. No one does. All right, let's make that one layer now. All right, so we got our hand, we got our form. Let's move our hand around. There we go. Let's move our arm. There we go. Now our body. Now we we chopped up we chopped off a lot of here, so let's go ahead and just make this a little bit you know transparent, and let's go into the body and let's separate the other arm, and then we'll separate the body from the waist. Let's copy, delete, paste. Move that over. Let's go back to the body. Let's, oops, let's cut, let's uh, delete that. Let's clean that up a little bit. All right, now let's clean up our arm here. Let's cut the hand off. So here's a hand, just same exact technique. Go in, try to be as clean as possible. Copy, delete, paste. Now let's add a little bit of thicker line to the bottom of the hand. Oops. <laughs> let's think of the line work at the bottom of the hand, the base of the hand, real quick. All right. What are we learning? Learning how to animate a character from scratch. So I'm taking a character and cutting them into pieces. I'm going to take them into After Effects uh, for tutorial. So I'm taking an already pre drawn character and show help people how to cut it apart and then put it together for an animation. I'm gonna go over some no layer stuff, some basics. But right now I'm just going over the 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 process of like animating anything. You can you can animate anything. Let's go back down to our arm here. Let's clean up the arm. Use this knowledge. How have you been? I'm doing pretty good. Today was a little bit rough because everything wanted to break. Uh, every everything just was not working well earlier. But we coped. Got it all fixed off stream. I missed a big chart. This this part should have been done like a few hours ago. But just things weren't working, and when things don't work, you just gotta roll with the punches. You gotta roll with the punches. Let's use that same base. Just kind of for the darkened part of it. All right, let's fill in the arm. If you run across a design in an animation you're doing and it looks like it's a little bit intricate, don't fret at all. This is where the magic of the magic wand tool comes into play so just go ahead and copy the design try to get away from the much of the uh, outer colors as you can copy paste let's 
go ahead and start to move it in there as much as you can. I'm gonna use that same design, kind of move it up the arm. And sometimes it'll even like match up pretty well. I'm gonna just try to blend that copy into it as much as you can. And don't worry, because this is gonna be so like minute that people won't be able to tell that you've copied and pasted it a few times. It'll be, no one's gonna notice, trust me. It may seem like a big deal right now, but no one's gonna notice. Okay, let's go back to our bottom layer and fill in that shadow. And let's go ahead and uh, flatten that to one layer. So this layer and the color layer underneath, I'm gonna go ahead and merge. Control E or Command D. Let's just touch up our little spots here. A little soft brush. Full on lurking. Oh yeah, modern touch stuff, we just wrapped that up, yeah. That looks pretty solid. Let's go ahead and like clean that that line work up around the, the wrist though. Let's make it a little bit cleaner. Make it a little bit more defined, a little more definite. We could take it a step further and like, you know, articulate the arm from the, the form piece. But I don't think we I don't think we need it for this. I mean, chibis usually have like, you know, very small like articulations, so. So we got our two arms, our two hands are all separated. Let's go down to our body here. And here we go. Let's separate our torso from our waist. And right where this band is at, we're gonna stop at. So let's get a little closer. And it doesn't need to be perfect, but the more accurate you are, the less cleanup work you have to do in the long run. Let's copy, delete, paste. Let's move it up. And let's move our legs down. All right. Now let's go ahead and clean up our upper body. All right, let's... um. Let's finish out this circle, actually. So it looks like a full piece when we go to actually, you know, put our animate or put our uh, our head on top of it. I'm just kind of imagining what it would look like with you know the rest of the head attached, well, or detached actually. So this is good practice in like, huh? Nine. Yeah. Get that filled in there. Let's fill in that shoulder blade. Because a lot of that's going to be underneath. Let's pull that down. Let's clean up our feathers on the end here. Looking pretty solid so far. All right, 
let's let's actually pull our torso the design down a little bit as well even though we're going to draw this part into the belt or the belt's going to be on top of this let's go ahead and just pull this down to give it a little bit more freedom when we actually go to animate and the same thing here let's go ahead and make a new layer underneath let's grab our base color which is going to be mostly dark because it's going to be so low underneath let's kind of just fill that color in Let's grab our, our yellow highlights and continue those over. Try to make it look as seamless as possible. Like it won't, like I said, it won't be perfect, but it's gonna definitely, uh, it's gonna pay off in the long run. Kind of just dicing in a few little triangles here because the detail is so low in this area Let's go ahead and fill in this neck armor here with a bit of this color. it up a little bit this is the part we got to kind of get artistic with it and you know just kind of let your mind fill in those blank spots let's go back to our layer above that and let's let's go ahead and merge down now this is one piece and let's just clean up these areas where it blended in not as well. Because you got like a little bit of like leftover remnants from the from the cut. And the more cleanup you do, trust me, the, the better off this is gonna look. The better off. And just sampling colors, just using the eyedropper tool to grab a color and just fill in as I go. Feeling as I go. Motherfucker. I'm surprised. Hey, what's happening, Meg? I'm actually working on a little bit of an animation right now. Surprise, surprise, surprise. We're doing an uh, animation tutorial. Uh, it's a little uh, stream reward for uh, us hitting a milestone yesterday. So we're recording this live. How you doing? 
the CSP waves, please. I've been struggling with it for all day. All day? It's not that bad. It's way easier than Photoshop in the long run. Way easier. All right, let's move down to our waist. So since you're just getting here, I'm gonna show you what we're doing. We're, uh, I'm taking apart a character and filling them in piece by piece. So I'm separating them and uh, you know, cutting out the pieces to show people how to take any image and manipulate it slowly. So right now we're just playing doctor and, uh, and cutting this guy apart. Now let's go down to our waist and let's cut out our actual, uh, just the belt. So that'll be our centerpiece where we'll swivel the torso and the legs and uh, groin around on. And we can even add another rope. So we're gonna do a little rope animation in it on his waist. So let's go ahead and uh, make sure the right layer. All right, copy, delete, paste. Let's go back up to our Let's go, to, let's go to the leg part. Just drag that down. Just keep it separated. Let's erase a little bit off the edge. All right. Let's go to our belt. And all we're gonna do is just fill in the line work we're missing. So sample the color. If you're doing a painting or something, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but you can, you can manipulate Mona Lisa's face. You can manipulate anything. Um, if you have the, the patience. So you can even take a comic book cover and take it into Photoshop or CSP and just slowly manipulate it. So let's make a layer underneath again. And let's just fill in that base color. Let's go to our top layer and just kind of clean out those lines. So we just what we're doing is just painting over the line work be cut out from the previous layer. This is gonna be a little bit more intricate because we got a belt there, but no big deal. Let's go underneath again. Let's fill that in. All right. Let's actually fill that in with that too as well. So that's actually all dark right there from the belt. All right, let's go to the top layer, which is this one. Let's grab the color for the belt and let's just finish that line. And finish the bottom of the line. Then we're gonna go and grab the same middle color and kind of brush out those imperfections. Just nice and easy. Learn it. Yeah, we're doing. We're gonna do all the animation in After Effects. So Meg, how's uh, how's quarantine life treating you, with your uh, your upstream schedule, and your Animal Crossing? What's up, Zeta? It's real. I've just been trying to work some regular hours, though. Like, day job-wise, yeah. We use for rigging After Effects. Just the base tools. I don't use any rigging tools. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't thought, I haven't actually bought any plugins for it. I only use the base stuff. 
I've only I'm only using the base stuff for right now because I feel like I can I want to stretch my uh, I want to stretch the tools as far as they can before I start adding like more and more like you know easier rigs in for myself so right now everything I do is like just from scratch with the base like null objects because that way when I'm teaching it everyone can do it without having to like you know buy a bunch of add-ons So right now it's just like puppet pen tools, no layers, um, just all the basic stuff that's included in it. Yeah, if it, it, it'll become increasingly easier if you're like doing this stuff I I think that's what anything though it's like if you're learning 3d modeling it'll be much easier to grab a pre-made 3d model than actually 3d modeling the head first and then the legs and the arms like that'll be way easier D and D RP stream Baldur's Gate about to go to bed wondering what kind of tablet you might recommend Old school Wacom with no screen, looking to upgrade. I used the Artist Old D16 before uh, I moved on to this, and I loved it. I mean, I still have it. I just, you know, my buddy had two Cintiqs for sale, so or he had two Cintiqs, and one was unopened, so I bought it at a discount. Let's go ahead and uh, let's mess with this design a little bit more. Let's grab the uh, let's grab the other rope and and uh, let's toy with that one. Let's let's grab it. I'm gonna copy and paste it. So now we got two ropes to play with when we start to animate. So now let's take that and move it beneath. And now when we take it to After Effects, we can actually, you know, take it and move it around um, as a second floating piece. Like once you learn how to put things together spot by spot, you'll start getting more and more attuned to what you can and what you can can't do with the two-dimensional objects or two-dimensional objects in general. Um, so let's separate the legs, the legs, and we'll do the thighs from the knees, the groin from the thigh. So groin, thigh, um, legs, shins, and feet. And we'll separate the actual like outer of the dress, the 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 uh, the robe. The XP pin, the XP pin, the hurt was pretty good. The Huion, I heard was pretty good. I, I mean, I got friends who use like all of those tools. Um, but I've only used the Artisol products before this one. That's as far as my uh, my expertise goes. So let's go ahead and grab the leg. So let's copy, delete, paste. And then we'll take our groin. there we'll copy delete oh we'll copy delete paste let's go over here and grab the just the groin which we want to do a lot more with besides just cut the groin out copy delete paste let's grab the other leg now this part we're gonna just cut out the back of this because we'll draw this all in separately on one layer. So let's delete that. Let's grab the outer part of the robe here. Copy, delete, paste. All right. Now let's go to our far left piece of the robe and all we're going to do is grab the outer color let's save by the way save and we're going to just draw that line all the way up let's 
so we can manipulate it from behind. And the music stopped again. Did it stop because it was over or? Yes. Uh, yes. All right. No complaints. It's fantastic. The price. Expensive walking from what I hear. Yeah. It's so late. Yeah, it's it's getting there. But I promised that I would do this today, and I don't like breaking my promises. Even if all the technology fails, I don't like breaking my promises. All right, let's go a layer underneath this one, and we'll add in some of that uh, darker background to it. Let's go to the top layer. Well, let's play on the bottom layer, actually. Oh, uh, no top layer. Let's just erase those little black, you know, parts that are cutting into the design. All right, let's go back underneath. Let's grab those colors. And just kind of just brush in those colors. Just do one smooth brush of one color. You see it kind of layers off a little bit. So let's smooth out that edge. And then we'll grab the darker color. And just try to follow this as closely as you can. Doesn't need to be perfect, but that's as close as you can. Let's grab a little bit of that highlight on there. Drag it up. And then go to the top layer and just kind of just brush them in together just to give them a little bit of a smoother blend. All right. And let's go ahead and clean that little line up down there we cut out earlier. There we go. GG easy. Now we got an outer part of our cloak. Let's merge down with the bottom layer. Oh, we didn't merge these layers at all, did we? No, let's uh let's go ahead and merge that together as well. So we'll merge those. That's one piece. That's one piece. Now let's go ahead and cut our leg into two pieces. So we'll just Cut this section right here. Where's the leg at? Okay. Copy, paste. Now we're going to take that area right on top and just kind of just fill in a little bit of blue as a as a circular. So if it was a, uh, let's do it underneath. Let's kind of just round it out. as if the knee joint was still touching. This way we can manipulate the leg from top to bottom. So this way when the leg's on top, you see it kind of like blends in a little bit better. Actually, we can grab a darker color. Let's grab the darker version of that blue. We'll, uh, oops. Back up, back up. Next time you do this, you could be doing Here we go. This. How? By using yeah, let's use a darker color. Let's use a darker What's color. A search engine got to do with trees? Search engines make a lot of money. Enough money. This is so Bob Ross. So See motor iPads. The pencil can also be a affordable option, but limited. Yeah. 
wherever they're needed most. Cram my nib up inside my Alaska pen. Oh. I just bought a whole bunch of nibs because I wear through them so fast now. So all it takes is more of this, and we can have a lot more of this. All right, let's uh, merge the the leg down with the bottom layer. So that's one piece. Let's round out and add a little bit more. Because these are like chaps almost. That's why I didn't draw in too much of the uh, the innards, the groin, because that's like going to be like a chap area. Entering our oceans every year. You've seen the All right. Now let's take the. Yep. Let's take our groin. And we're just going to take it and just kind of add like two little nubs on the end. So if the. It'll be like almost like hip joints. And I'm just going to make it just because it's a dark area already. Right? I'm going to add in just a couple like small little swoops on. So a couple small little swoops. Maybe cut that back in a little bit more. Often from people living in extremely harsh conditions without waste collection. Together with our partners, we can pay people in need in exchange for ocean bound plastic. Now where's our plastic for money, but also where's our other leg at? Here we go. Now together with partners like plastic who have built up an infrastructure of plastic collection to make this possible. So we're gonna do now with this leg is kinda just fill in the leg with the colors available. Um, I don't know why it's like playing like half of a playlist. Oh, it'll work. I mean, it's what, 36 minutes long? Yeah, it'll work. Alright. I'm just gonna fill in the line work there. And fill the other side of that chap. And then let's take the bottom half of that and just cut it. So copy, delete, paste. And we're gonna do the exact same thing we did with the other leg. We're gonna take that dark brown kind of area and gonna make a layer underneath. And just kind of circle it in. Just make a little bit of a an impression of like if a leg were connected there for the shadow. Just keep it nice and smooth. Yo, what up, Happy? Um, my stream broke, everything broke, and then I had to get this thing done um, for hitting 300 subs yesterday. So I promised people I would do a tutorial on how to animate. Um characters in After Effects and uh god damn it I'm gonna do it let's merge down I'm gonna I'm recording it too so let's clean up the edges yeah we're cutting up uh Osiris for the animation I kind of just said as a joke yes well I didn't say as a joke I said it off the cuff like oh if we hit 300 subs I'll uh I'll animate this tomorrow on stream. And then we, we did it with, with like 20 minutes. So I was like, oh, I guess we're going to be doing this today. And I don't want to like cut, cut out time for free mode Friday tomorrow. Um, I don't want to do that either. So. so I'm repeating the process. I'm just making a layer underneath and filling in that dark area with the, uh, the darker shadow underneath. Let's uh, clean that up a little bit. All right, let's grab the little blue there and kind of brush that in. There we go. All right, let's merge that down with the underneath color. Now that's one piece. Now let's clean up our cloak on the other side. So let's go in and just grab our eraser and just smooth out some of those edges because they got like a little bit of the, the pencil attached to them. Let's go ahead and clean that up too, because I think I didn't do that very well earlier. 
the first pass. Catch this vibe tomorrow. Let me uh, the con stay up and do all the heavy lifting because it's past my bedtime. All right, Zeta Frag. Have a good night. And awake. It's 7:45 here. <laughs> oh, blink. All right, let's uh, add a little bit more to this. Let's add a little bit more of a body to this cloak on this side. Nothing crazy. Just a little bit. A little bit of addition to it. Let's make a uh, a new layer underneath. And do the exact same thing I did before. We're gonna fill in that color uh, underneath, just to give ourselves a little bit more wiggle room. We go to animate. A little bit more wiggle room. Let's clean it up piece by piece, part by part, step by step. Let's merge down. Okay, that's one piece. Now what we got so far, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, sixteen pieces. Now let's make one last piece, which is going to be a, basically like the back of the cloak is going to be a piece all on its own, just to help, uh, you know, give it a little bit more fluid motion. So I'm just taking that base color I found on the inside of the cloak, and all I'm going to do is swoosh it across. So what it looks like by itself is this. That's going to be the back of our cloak. And we'll be able to manipulate it as we want. So let's uh, clean up the base a little bit. And I see I got like a little bit of extra on the knee here. Let's clean the bottom of that knee up. See a little space of like blue. Let's just cut that off. All right. Let's make sure it's not too wide. It's not too small either. Let's go ahead and put it behind his waist a little bit. All right. Now we've got all our pieces. Now, this is the important part. Now you got all your pieces, you got to put them in the, the right order for your Photoshop file. You got to put them in the right order because you got them in the wrong order. It's going to be very, very hard to manipulate everything. So first, most important is going to be on top is the head. So that's going to be number one. So we grab our head right there. And next we have our pauldrons. So we're gonna move our pauldrons into place. We got one, two. Next, we're going to have our, let's take our body actually. Our body's gonna be next. Let's move that into place. After that, we'll have our left arm, our left uh, bicep. So left bicep is going to be on top of the body. And the left hand is going to be on top of the arm. So you got to make sure all your pieces are on the right order. So you got to do a little bit of rearrange after the, all the copy and pasting. You have to make sure everything's in a place to actually be used. So let's grab our other arm and pull it up above the body as well. Oh, actually it's going to go behind the body. There we go. That's behind the body. And let's grab our hand. That's going to go above the arm. And our waist is going to... Oops. Let's put that back where it was at. Our waist is going to go... Behind the body as well. Let's make sure we got to go behind the arm or behind the... Uh, Let's go behind the behind the body, but above the arm. Yeah, that's good. Behind the body, but above the arm. Let's 
tweak a little bit. Let's grab our other piece of rope. Let's move that um, behind the belt as well. Let's uh, let's turn a little bit. Guess we know where it's at. Um, next up, I'm going to put the. Well, I think the this is in the right place already. But let's move it up. Oops. You definitely want the. Uh, you definitely want the cloak to be very the, the very behind the very back of your piece. Let's just clean that up a little bit more. We'll find out how much more we got to cut off, but that should be a good amount. Let's take our groin. Where's the groin at? Because the groin is going to be in behind everything else. There we go. So groin is going to be below the. belt go did I move it up too far move it above that I want it above that Some of this takes a little bit of just figuring out where what goes where. But let's take... Okay, yeah. The left side is going to be above or below. It's going to be below the actual... Yeah, it's going to be below the belt. If that's in the right place. It's going to be below the belt. And our groin should lay right there between. Hey, what's up, wild thing? How you doing? That's the wrong piece. Where is our groin at? I lost. I lost our groin. Okay, there's our groin. All right. So our groin is going to be underneath that actual that piece. So we got to swap these two pieces. So that's going to go on top. And then we'll put like groin in between that. And that'll go above it. Okay, I figured it out. So this is gonna go on top of everything on that side. And we'll shave down our uh, we'll shave down our waist a little bit more too. Doing pretty good. Ski bitch, welcome to the horde. Coffee hot. Beard epic. Sketchy sketchy. Right now we're doing a live tutorial on how to uh, animate a character. So we've just went through the cutting away part and filling in the pieces that were uh, missing. And we're gonna take these all these pieces into After Effects and uh, animate it. So there's our groin. Now we gotta connect our legs to our groin again. All right, our groin's in the right spot. Let's take our. Let's take our actually, let's take this back piece. Where is it? Where'd it go? Let's take that and move it below the, our actual back. Uh... No, that's right. That's in the right place. Let's take our left leg, or well, our right leg on the left side. Let's move it up. You see it's not in the right place. We gotta move it above the that piece. It's gotta go above the groin. So there we go. That's above the groin now. Let's take those two pieces and move them up. So now our groin's in the right place, our thigh's in the right place. Now let's grab our other leg. Where is it at? Where is our shin bone at? Okay, our shin's way too high. All right, let's take our shin and move it up. Now it's right above that layer. Got that in the right place. Let's take our other thigh and move it up. And it's a little bit too low as well. Let's move it up above the back. Where's our back one at? This is it? Yeah. So that's above it already. 
This one has to go a little bit above the groin as well. Sweet. All right, we're in the right place. Now we got that in the right place. Let's move this over a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on. Let's move that uh, into place. Let's grab our other leg. Oops. Let's move that into place. All right. And let's check our back. Okay, that's a little bit too wide. So what I'm going to do is trim off the sides. A little bit more. I'm going to just raise that up a little bit. So now what we got is a more you know, manageable piece there. Now, now that I've gotten this into... How many pieces we got this in now? want your groin in the wrong place that is true I hate when my groin goes behind my legs me too let's save and we are at I think 16 pieces yeah we're going to add a little bit of fun for the uh, for this part of it now this is going to be a more challenging part but once you get the once you get down the basics you'll understand how everything moves in, in, in piece by piece so what we're going to do is grab the eyes. I'm going to hit copy, paste. And then we're going to grab the other eye. Copy, pa oops, a little paste. Let's turn the eyes off. And let's just paint in the area as if they never existed. Let's go back in and clean up some of the line work here. Let's grab a little bit of the, the shadows I was using. Just kind of just brush in those effects. And then we got our eyes over here. So what I'm gonna do is just use my magic wand on the actual eye. Just kind of erase all the skin around it. And then I'm gonna just do a little bit of cleanup. A little bit of cleanup. Then I'm going to separate the eyebrow from the eye. Copy, delete, paste. Learn the layers. Kind of naming layers. Yeah. And um, you can name layers. I don't really name layers very often. Unless I got like, you know, you know something like 50 layers which I usually never have so now these are two separate pieces or these should be two separate pieces I kind of made a little fake mistake there okay all right two separate pieces let's uh 
brush in a little bit more of those lines on the actual head. So it looks a little bit more seamless. You see a few imperfections there. All right, the that eye's done. Now let's grab the other eye. The other eye is oh, there it is. Okay. It's like I'm like it's it's like YouTube doesn't want to play the music anymore. It's like just tripping out. All right, here we go. Okay, where's our eye at? Okay, let's do the same thing with this eye. Magic wand. Delete, 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 delete. And then you can kind of go in and just... Do a little clean up there. Go ahead and separate your eyebrow from your eye. So copy, delete, paste, move it up. Grab the color your eyebrows at and just kind of just, just clean it up a little bit. Make it a little bit more full. Let's go to our eye layer. Which is not bad at all. It's just brushing a little bit of the uh, the shape. Let's see, move them around a little bit. Let's put those back into place. Now you have something actually manipulate in the actual piece. What up, club boy? Doing the whole, are you still watching thing for me? Yeah. Saving attempt in these times? Probably, yeah. Let's save. So now we got eyes to manipulate. We can make them blink. And speaking of making them blink, Let's make a new layer above that and we'll do He has old man eyes, so let's add a little bit of a uh, little bit of crow's feet on the side when he goes to blink. Right place. Uh, about the right place, yeah. Let's move that other one down a little bit. Now let's uh, copy the left and right. We'll copy just copy that side, delete it, and paste it. Now we have eyes. We got uh, we got closed eyes. We got open eyes, and I think we got enough to actually start the animation now. So we have a bout, let's save. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-four layers. Not including this one. That's like that's layer twenty-five, it's the little little floaty part. So, 25 layers to manipulate. I'm going to save the document and then I'm going to go ahead and clip studio paint, which is the good, one of the good things about this program is you can save as a Photoshop document. Layer or layer information may not compatible with this format. Uh, yeah. 
What about not compatible? I think everything should be flattened. Should be. Unless there's something weird down here. Oh, okay, yeah, that this layer has got a, a layer on it. Let's uh not layer on it, but it's got a uh a color mask on it. Let's go ahead and just rasterize layer. Rasterize 